Hi, Jay here. I just wanted to do a quick video today about chipping and just some technique behind it. And when you're chipping, what you're really doing is you're picking up the chips and basically rolling them and putting them under your fingers like this. Okay? Now, you want to keep your hands loose when you're chipping. And then once you get a set amount, okay, you want to put your stacks together. Okay. And then you want to push them down on the table like that and then get 20 chips. Okay. So it takes some time for you to, to feel 20 chips. It just takes practice and everyone has different hands. So some people with smaller hands may only be able to pick 19, so they pick 19 and then they'll pick another chip along the way. But that's kind of the two major things about it, is just keeping your hands loose and then when you put it together, feeling 20, right? Now, when you're trying to do it quickly and you're on a busy game, my tips are always to pick from the top. Remember, don't turn your hands up. You want to keep your hands down whenever you're chipping. For me, when I'm chipping, I actually have the count in my head. The reason why is because I pick 20 exactly and then I can move on. What I'm doing when I'm picking is I'm going 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10. And I know that's 20 chips already. For me, it's just, it's just a habit. But... I mean, it really depends on the kind of game you're at. You, there's nothing wrong with actually picking and then having more chips. Because when you have more chips, you're gonna feel your 20 out and you still have chips to kind of move with, right? So whatever is more comfortable with you, you can do it that way, right? Or you can do the count. For me, I just like doing the count. I feel that it's faster and um, yeah, it's just a bad, I don't know if it's a bad habit, but I like, I like doing it that way. It's just, it's preferable. You know, it doesn't really matter. You choose whichever way works best for you, okay? Remember, just don't grip your hands. Like, just keep your hands loose, and that'll make you a lot faster when you're chipping. It's, it's a lot easier to actually have your chips spread out. So, you have a small area, but whenever you can, just kind of spread your chips out, especially when you're working with just one, right? and then just start chipping. Okay. Okay, let's... But you kind of want to do about 30 seconds. Okay, faster than that probably. Keep your hands loose, don't twist your hands up, and then top to bottom. That's the best way, that's the best advice that I can give you. There's, um, I've learned from a lot of super fast people, they're amazing. And they said, like I said, just, just keep your hands loose because if you start gripping, you know, like that's not gonna help you and it's really gonna start hurting your hands because you know, when you have seven colors out, that's a lot of chips that you have to pick up. And it's it's not a race. It's not a sprint. It's like a marathon, right? Okay, so hopefully that helps. All right, so when you have multicolor chips, you don't have a lot of space, right? So you're going to have to start from the top and look for specific sections where you can pick a lot of one color, okay? Now, you can also go over, right? So when you go over, because you know, you're never gonna have, like I have 60 of each color here, right? It's never gonna be like a perfect amount. You don't have to just keep going and just looking for that specific color. Just. Go on another color. If you only have a partial, just leave the partial in and keep going, right? Then you can, when you actually have more chips, 
then you can just grab off the top like that and then you can make your 20. So you can see here, we're just gonna finish on the green. Once I finish the green, then it gives me a lot more space here with the other colors, right? So even if you have like two or three of the green left, just get them out of the way so that you can just work on the other colors. Right, and by this time, the ball's probably already in motion. Um, once the dealer says no more bats, you gotta stop, right? Because you gotta look here at the layout and make sure that nothing's happening because the dealer's gonna be looking at the ball and you're just gonna be looking for any kind of uh, last minute bets, over bets, under bets, things like that, right? Okay, hopefully um, that helps you out. I know it's a quick video, but uh, just like I said, the tips and tricks are just keep your hands this way. You don't wanna turn them when you're chipping, keep them loose, right? When you're working with multicolors, just look for specific sections. You gotta work on the top, um, but you can still go top bottom, right? Do the top layer and then from the top, which is what up here, you want to work your way back down. Okay, thanks everyone for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.